Because of my favorite TV show of all time, I know that downed airliners can be incredibly intriguing. So when I saw a jet skidded to a halt, sort of near the starting area at Fallout 76, I knew I needed to make my way straight towards it to find out what kinds of mysteries it might hold. And thankfully, there is much, much more than initially meets the eye. What's going on guys and girls, it's Ghost Robo, and today I'm taking you straight to that down jet south of Morgantown, and I'll show you how to access the secret armory. Now when you first arrive at Horizon's Rest, you might be kind of bummed, because it looks like part of a crash plane on a mountaintop, and not much else. You'll see a lot of scraps and a mess of metal, but have faith John Locke style, because oh baby, there is a lot of cool stuff here if you're willing to explore. Now we're gonna come across some super mutants and I knew that they were hiding more than a hunk of junk so I sent them sky high with some frag grenades. We'll let them fly as we explore what happened to this downed airliner and you'll see that they have repurposed the plane for a vertical village of sorts. They're utilizing this tower and a bunch of parts of the cabin to create a new home pre-bomb dropping and we'll see some super mutants fighting Scorched for supremacy of this humble abode, and it really is initially a humble abode. You'll find a few pieces of loot, but not much really of value. Radex, some boiled water, that's about it. For the most part, it just seems like a sad place where people used to hang out, literally, and try and survive. We'll climb amongst different little shelters, different little homes, and pick up a few pieces of junk, but it's not until we approach the upper levels of this vertical village that we find some goodies. We'll see that this must be a pilot type person up here. There is a safe as well as a melee bobblehead and a jail cell key. That jail cell key is going to come in handy and so will this plus 20% damage for an hour. We'll grab some rounds over in the trunk and then have a seat and experience what it was like to live here back in a calmer kind of world. It's a pretty cool view. You can look and see a church, a whole lot of rugged terrain and just make sure not to fall. Within the safe, you'll find a bunch of rounds, some pre-war money, uh, and a pistol, but remember that gel cell key. That is what we really want to use here. If we return to the little shacks outside of the tower, uh, you'll find the jail, and there's not a whole lot of loot in the jail, but there is a dude, and he has left a note behind. So go and unlock the jail, enter, and make sure to grab what you find beneath the mattress. It is Horizon's Rest Armory note, and it says that they cannot believe that they convinced everyone to pile their guns into one place. Now, where is that place? How do we get to it? Well, the key has been stolen and hid under a flower pot in someone's home. Where is said flower pot? That took me a while to find because it's a small little thing. We're going to take a rest first here. I do not recommend this bed. It gave me a disease because it's very dirty and probably also very gross. So get out of there as quick as you can and look for this downward ladder. This is going to take you to another locked door, which is the armory. Now you probably won't have enough skill points at this part of the game to unlock it. So instead you're going to want to walk to the third shack, the one with the white cabinets, grab the flower pot and then grab the armory key. Make your way back to said armory and you'll find a plethora of ammunition. Now, unfortunately, there aren't any super crazy guns in here, but you will grab a hunting rifle, a shotgun, and then a ton of ammo. Ammo for all sorts of weapons as well as some explosives. It's a pretty good haul, especially early on when you want to make sure that you're conserving ammo. This place was a godsend for me. I just burned through a lot in some big battles and then I got in here and grabbed quite a bit. I think it's super cool how Horizon's Rest starts out seeming like something dumb and something you want to just abandon. And maybe it was just a thing to put on the map, a little marker as you move across West Virginia. But in fact, if you have patience and you explore, you'll find quite a bit of loot. And that's how you're going to get it done. A vertical village, such a cool spot. Go grab the gel cell key from the top, take the gel cell key, use that to find the flower pot and the armory key, and then revel in your riches and go forth once more. Hope you guys enjoyed this video on Horizons Rest. Let me know if you found any super cool spots or things you want to see me talk about in a future video. I'd love to hear your input down in the comments below. Until next time, though, make sure to check out the rest of my Fallout 76 content. I got new videos coming almost every day. Until that time, though, drink so much, y'all. Thanks again. I love you a lot. Appreciate your support. It means the world. But I got to get back to that West Virginia world. So for now, my friends, we will see you all later.